what is good youtube and welcome back to a brand new video nba 2k23 has officially dropped and today well we're gonna go ahead and do i guess a 2002 los angeles lakers rebuild i know my first rebuild on 2k23 i wanted to experience the my era so i guess we're gonna be starting the colby era so today we're gonna be doing a 2002 Los Angeles Lakers rebuild. This should be a lot of fun, and I'm excited to see what this looks like. Before we get into today's video, make sure you guys drop a like on this one. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Man, we're going to be uploading 2K videos six days a week. I want to do a bunch of throwback rebuilds. Uh, we got to try all of these eras, and of course, going to get to some modern NBA rebuilds as well. But when you get into my NBA eras, this is your start screen. You have the modern era, you have the Kobe era, the Jordan era, and then you have the Magic versus Bird era. But I want to start with the 2002 the Kobe era and I did click on this a little bit but I want to show you guys how this looks so once we click on the Kobe era uh, it shows all these names which is really dope and then we're going to be having the 2002 Lakers and we can look at the rosters together at least here and then I'm going to put my settings on real quick and let's and then I'll show you guys what this all looks like it's uh, it looks really cool though let me show you guys so when you first get into the Kobe era you have I don't I don't think that's all 30 teams there's uh five huh? let me do math real quick okay that's six yeah so it looks like we're missing at least one team which is kind of cool so we are going to click on the Los Angeles Lakers that way we are the Kobe era but if you just look at this this is super cool it's got like all the old logos this is kind of what they featured and what they were advertising but I'm going to click on the Kobe Bryant Lakers and this should be a lot of fun uh, so we got look the Kobe era here are some of the major changes happening in this era and it shows you which is really cool The Charlotte Bobcats joined the league in 2004 seven games in the first round of the playoffs in 2003 Sonics rebrand 2008 instant replay added in 2002 The league expanded to six divisions several new floors and uniforms. This is so awesome I love this so far. This is an absolute W and the screen is really cool I imagine there's not really any draft classes. So I'm gonna use their draft class uh, we all, all know in the past the draft classes in the past have not been the greatest. So I am curious to see. So yeah, this is right when LeBron and all them get in the league. Do we have like auto generated players in here? I think we do. So that is the wait is Kenny. I don't know. May, I don't know if some of these guys are is Kenny Gatlin a real player Gatling. I don't know. That might actually be a real person. I'm not sure. Some of these I'm not like totally familiar with Brian Brand. I'm not sure if that's a real person. I'm not sure, but we have the important people. And uh, as soon as we get some more draft class, I think this could be better. But if we take a look at the rosters around the league, because I know some of us and most of us, including me, were curious on uh, what the lot roster was look like. Would it be just a bunch of few guys and some fillers? Um, so I'm not sure. Honestly, these guys might be some fillers down here. They kind of look like some, but maybe they aren't. Uh, so for the most part, it doesn't look too bad so far. They do have Ralph Westbrook and Larry Chapman. So yeah, it does look like there are some fillers on each roster, which I kind of figured would be the case. Uh, which was a little disappointing i'm not gonna lie but 2k can't have the rights to everybody which makes sense uh but it is what it is we're gonna have fun with it uh and we're gonna just kind of see how this goes today so i guess right now we can look at our rotation for this lakers roster and kind of seeing what we're look like devin george matt madsen brian shaw so i'm gonna assume some of these guys down here might be a little auto generated which uh really unfortunate maybe i should do my research real quick on the 2002 lakers roster i'm not gonna sit here and pretend i knew every player on their roster but I wanted to experience the throwback for my first 2k23 rebuild so we're going to just simulate this season kind of see how fast the simulation is and just kind of see how things look i mean so so far though the simulation doesn't seem too bad it's actually going kind of quick so i'm curious to see how we do it's got the record in the corner which is really dope as well the fan interest the profit we're making so really cool all around so we're going to just try to make this lakers roster as good as possible it can be and uh, I guess we can see what draft pick we have as well. I wonder if they have like the draft picks all cracked in there. I don't know. It's really cool though. Today's video is brought to you by Prize Picks. Prize Picks is the best way to get more out of the game you're watching. It is a player props app website. Whatever you want to do, whether you want to use it on mobile or desktop, you're picking overs or unders on players. Super easy. Let me show you how it works. So I know for us basketball fans, basketball is not quite here yet, but it is actually sneak up, sneaking up on us as we have preseason right around the corner. And then we also have the regular season starting in October. But we do have football starting tonight, so if any of you guys out there do love some football, we right now have an advertisement for Tom Brady over half a passing yard. But basically how this works, like I said, you use this on mobile or desktop. Uh, you literally just pick two, three, four, or five players, and then you're going to be choosing more or less, over or under, whatever you want to call it. And then you basically, if you get all five right, or if you get three out of the four right, you win some cash in return. It's really, really fun. As long as you don't go too crazy with it, it's a ton of fun. So if you want to go ahead and try this out, like I said, they're doing uh, stuff like this all the time where they have players heavily discounted. I love prize picks. I used it every day last year, and it's just a lot of fun. Don't get too crazy with it. 
super fun. I encourage fun, not crazy. So if you want to go ahead and download prize picks, there's a link in the description. Use code crushables. They're matching up to a hundred dollars, a hundred, hundred percent deposit match up to a hundred dollars. So thank you prize picks for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back into the rebuild. So season number one comes to an end and this is going to be really cool to see what the awards look like for this era. Of course, MVP is going to go to Shaquille O'Neal averaging 31 and 16. Get Yao Ming rookie year for the Houston Rockets, which is really cool. Marcus Fizzer is your sixth man. Ben Wallace, defensive player. Zildjian El Elgauskas is most improved. And Byron Scott is your coach of the year. So, and then Stan Myers, executive. So, Jason Kidd, all be first team. McGrady, KG, Tim Duncan, Shaquille O'Neal. All be a second team. You got Kobe Bryant, Allen Iverson, Dirk Nowitzki, Jermaine O'Neal, and Ben Wallace. You can almost revisit the malice at the palace, man. Like, if the Pacers could have won a championship back then, man. This is so cool. Uh, Michael Jordan is on the Wizards. We got all defensive first team and all defensive second team. Uh, no Shaq, but Kobe did make it, which is cool. And all rookie, you got Yao Ming, Carlos Boozer, Amari Stoudemire, Karone Butler, Drew Gooden, all rookie second team, Jay Williams, Mike Dunleavy, Manu Ginobili, JR, and then Dick, uh, Dick DeCow. Damn, that is a name. Or Dan, sorry. I, I thought his first name was that as well. Okay, so we get uh, the fourth seed in the Western Conference. We get to play the Mavericks in round one. So if you take a look at the player stats for this year, uh, that is not what I want to look at. Player stats... There we go. Oh, that is very, very weird. Per game. There we go. That is weird. You can actually look at a different way of looking at the stats. Okay, but uh, Shaq averaged 31. Kobe averaged 30 uh, as well. So, obviously, Kobe and Shaq carried this team. So, we got to try to make this team as good as it can possibly be around them. But for the most part, not too bad. We get the Dallas Mavericks in round one. I'm actually curious to see what their team looks like. So, it's Steve Nash, Nick Van Axel, Michael Finley, Dirk. You got Roth, uh, and they got Sean Bradley, Raja Bell, Adrian Griffin. Uh, so... Looking actually really cool. Let's see if we can beat the Dallas Mavericks in round one. We do have to deal with Dirk and Steve Nash. So many current round against the Mavericks, and we do get eliminated in round one to the Mavericks. So we are headed to the offseason. So I'm kind of curious to see how this is going to go as the Pistons go on to win the championship over the Spurs in seven games. Going to player retirement. So you got Willis, Oakley retiring. Uh, Chris Dudley, Horace Grant's retiring. Mark Bryan's retiring. So you definitely have some retirements here. I wonder, are these like the real life retirements when these players actually retire? Because that is really cool if it is. I'm pretty sure that might be. So you got historic changes. So that's going to be different. Jersey retirements, Hall of Fame inductees. Let's go to historic changes. Let's see what this is. Okay, so accepted. Changes the uniforms of Orlando Magic. That is so cool, man. So you can decline this stuff if you want to. And you like just totally do something totally different. But I'm going to leave that all the same. No changes for the Lakers so dope love it i absolutely love it 2k fantastic going to the draft lottery i have no idea if we're supposed to have and it's art and it's got the old lottery odds as well david stern rest in peace man this is awesome grizzlies get number one uh we end up do we even have a pick here yeah we have the 23rd overall pick so we can go in and draft somebody which is really dope as well so far i'm absolutely loving this this is a fantastic experience what does the head coaching pool look like i'm actually Really excited with this gonna. I don't need the damn tutorials, 2K. Thank you. But Phil Jackson. Okay, so I just want to see what are the candidates out here. You got Greg Popovich as a free agent, a young Greg Popovich. You got Doug Collins, Donovan Fox. I'm wondering if I recognize any of these names. I mean, I only recognize right now. I only recognize Greg Popovich. So I'm gonna leave this all the same though. There's. I feel like there's a little bit more. Is there more coaching staff spots? I feel like there is. All right, we're going to fill this out as much as we can. I'm going to fill this coaching staff spot out real quick. Then we get into free agency in the draft and see who we get to draft in this 2003 draft class. So on draft night in the 2003 NBA draft, Kobe is ever, or making 13 million. Shaq's making 24 million. And then as far as our draft picks are concerned, how do I get to my draft picks? Oh, I have to click the left stick now. So 23, 22. Okay, from the Raptors. Does that mean they do have like the updated trades back then? That's crazy if they do. That's awesome. Shout out to 2K if that is the case. Um, Derek Fisher is 28. I mean, I don't know. Like, what does a trade look like if I threw it in the trade finder right now? So we can get uh we can get Howard Inslee 30. We get a younger center and Roth. I mean, I'm just gonna try to win a championship as soon as I possibly can with this Lakers team. Penny Hardaway as the point guard. Um, I actually really have no idea what I'm doing. I can get a first round pick in the future. Let's just jump into the draft and see who we can get. With our 23rd overall pick to add, I'm actually curious to see what the overalls are as well. Draft summary, LeBron James comes in as the 86th, Dwayne Wade, same thing. So uh, Chris Kamen, Kirk Heinrich, so no surprises so far to all Ramsey, Kenny Gatling. I'm not sure if these are real people. I am assuming they're not. I don't recognize the names, so 
That is a little unfortunate. We kind of knew that would be the case, though, with these auto-generated -gener classes. But we have Darko Mill Kick. We got Luke Walton. We got Kevin Madsen. What else have we got? I honestly am going to recognize... I'm going to draft somebody I recognize. So I guess I see Luke Walton right now, and I think that's who I'm going to take. So Luke Walton, welcome to the Los Angeles Lakers. And then we have a second-round pick. I can't imagine there'll be anybody here I notice. Uh, I got Malcolm Weber. No idea if this guy is a real person or not. But I guess I'm going to go ahead and take him here with my second round pick. And that is going to be our draft. So Luke Walton was a 70 overall solid enough. So and then we got Malcolm Weber, who was a better overall than Luke Walton. OK, player options, none. And then I have no idea what kind of money we have and what free agency is about to look like. So Tim Duncan is a free agent. We have no money. So, of course, this is when uh, cap space was not as much as it is in today's NBA. You have Jermaine O'Neal. I wonder if I could get to that much money. So, like, right now, salary cap breakdown. Who is making all the money? So, Kobe and Shaq obviously making most of it. So, that's just where most of our budget is going, which is really unfortunate. But that's just how the NBA was. So, I don't really know how we upgrade the roster without trading one of Kobe or Shaq. Do we trade Shaq? Is that crazy to do? Didn't they trade Shaq around this time? I don't remember when Shaq was actually traded. It might have been later than that. Uh, There's no offers, though. I'm not trading Kobe, obviously, but I just had to I had to see if there would be any offers. So I guess we got to try to make a crazy trade. We got a center for an 82 over. I feel like I just need to get a better overall guard or just some better role player and upgrade the bench as I, much as I possibly can. So this will be interesting to see how good I am at this. So I guess the first trade I'm going to make is trade Devin George, Robert Horry, and Herbert Marbury for a first round pick in 04 and Antonio McDice to add him to this roster. 2K is wanting to, you know, show me how to make trades and stuff like I ain't, I ain't done this before. So we're going to make this trade. That is going to be my first trade. I'm not sure how I feel about it, but Antonio McDice should be a really solid power forward. And we also got to keep in mind back then they were playing differently back then. So it really doesn't matter what we kind of do. So I guess the next trade is going to be with probably Rick Fox and whatever else I can find. Maybe for Cream Rush. Maybe I throw Luke Walton out there. Maybe he's got some trade value. We got Todd McCulloch. You got a first round pick, another for Jermaine Jones with a 24 year old and a first as well. I kind of like the idea of that. Brevin Knight, 27 years old. Gerald Wallace, a 20 year old Gerald Wallace and Scott Pollard. That almost looks like the move there. That looks like a really good trade. We could start Gerald Wallace next to these two guys, Kobe and Shaq. You got Cor Corliss Williamson. I don't even know most of these people. I'm such a casual when it comes to this era. I mean, I was I was three years old, so let's be honest. But I'm going to go ahead and do this trade for Gerald Wallace and Scott Pollard. That's going to add a lot of depth, and I like that trade a lot. So that's going to be my next trade. So now I have Derek Fisher still at point guard, Kobe at the two, Gerald Wallace starting at the three, you got Antonio McDice at the four, and then Shaq at the five, and Scott Pollard backing him up. So I'm still looking for some bench pieces and maybe even a better point guard. But maybe I should look around the league at Team Intel and see where we can uh, maybe improve a little bit. So see if I can find a point guard for the cheap or something. I'm going to try to snag Jamal Crawford from the Chicago Bulls. He just averaged 16 points per game on 45% shooting from three. And he'd be a really good point guard and Derek Fisher could back him up. Uh, they don't accept that. I did get a couple draft picks though, but I'm going to go ahead and alpha Malcolm Weber. They don't agree to that. Um, as far as draft picks are concerned, I have to get used to not uh, being at all. So what if I offered a... There we go. So we get Jamal Crawford. So Jamal Crawford is going to be our brand new point guard here uh, next to Kobe and Shaq. So we got Jamal Crawford, Derek Fisher, Kobe Bryant, Gerald Wallace, and Tony McDice, and then Shaquille O'Neal and Scott Pollard. So, so far, kind of like in the rotation we have set, I need a wing player. What can we afford in free agency? Let's start to look at that a little bit. So Dayon Glover, you got uh, James Granger, 32-year-olds. But I'm looking at Dan Glover here, and he looks like he could be a solid role player going forward. So... I'm going to renounce the rights on Brian Shaw, I guess. I'm going to sign Dion Glover to be my new backup shooting guard to Kobe Bryant, I guess. And then I guess what our last thing we'll do is we'll maybe look for a trade to upgrade the backup forward spot, I guess. That's the only other thing I can think to do. So Jamal Crawford, Derek Fisher, you got Kobe and Dion Glover now. You have Jared Wallace at the three and Tony McDice. And then you got Shaq and Scott Pollard. So like I said, I guess the last move would be to get a better power forward or a small forward either way whatever we can find that's what i'm gonna go for so i have no idea what player progression is gonna be like but i guess i'm making this trade to get michael bradley who's 24 years old so i'm assuming he might progress a little bit i have no idea so that is gonna be my off season a very interesting one to say the least but i feel like we did pretty good so we got kobe going up jamal crawford's up and then scott Pollard went down which is unfortunate Deion glover uh he's actually making a decent amount so i wonder then gerald wallace went up 
Uh, Michael Bradley did not really move. Did Scott, if I traded Scott Pollard right now, could I get something better in the trade finder? I'm just curious. So let's throw both these guys. Maybe we get a better power forward center combination. Mohammed, you have Shane Anderson. That's not really doing it for me. So it's so weird making these trades back then, but I also love it. It's like kind of a different feel for me. It's like a whole new experience, but I'm loving the idea of this and doing throwback rebuilds more often. Chris Anderson is 25 years old. They're the same overall. It would be kind of cool to have Chris Birdman, but I also kind of like this trade where we get just a better overall center. Not by much, but uh, we're going to make that trade. So that is going to be our off season with the 2002 Los Angeles Lakers. And we can just keep using the 2004 draft class. Okay, so Kobe... LeBron are in the league now, and we got Jamal Crawford, Kobe Wall, or Kobe Bryant, Jared Wallace, and Tony McDyess, Shaquille O'Neal, Derek Fisher, Deion Glover, and then that is going to be our rotation. So nine minute rotation, as far as the proficiency is concerned for this team, we got a four star grit and grind. We would be four and a half somewhere. No, I guess we just stick with grit and grind then. So grit and grind is our best system. We're going to change uh, Phil Jackson's grit and grind, and we're going to see if we have a better season this year and make it out of the first round and win a championship with Kobe and Shaq. I feel like we've got some decent role players next to him now. So for feeling pretty good about how the offseason went. So Shaq won MVP last year and this time we get Kobe Bryant winning it. 28 points, 8 assists, 56% from the field, 87 or 85% from the free throw, 47% from three. LeBron James, rookie of the year on the Memphis Grizzlies. Grant Hill is your sixth man. Or is that the Vancouver Grizzlies? That might be Vancouver. I don't know. That's Memphis. Never mind. Sixth man goes to Grant Hill. Ben Wallace, defensive player on the Pistons. Richard Hamilton, most improved on the Nuggets. Averaged 27 points. Was Rich, was Rip Hamilton really like that back then? And we went 62 and 20. So I think literally just adding Jamal Crawford added a whole new element to our game and just getting more well-rounded. So pretty successful uh, simulation. I'm not sure if that leads to a championship or not. I mean, we have Kobe and Shaq to kind of uh, lead us there. So hopefully that is the case. If we take a look at the player stats for this season, let's see if it shows me. It's so weird how it defaultly shows you like that but points per game is going to go kobe 28 shaq 23 and then 16 for jamal crawford so i'm assuming kobe is just going to keep getting better and better jared wallace had nine points he had nine and a half from antonio mcdice eight from Derek fisher nine from deon glover off the bench and then seven from todd mcculloch and then three from michael bradley so very interesting season the one thing i will say so far that i'm not in love with this is it does suck that you can't pick a certain year you want to start out because originally i had a totally different video idea plan because i thought you could pick the the year you want to start but no you can only start in one of those four eras or those yeah the four eras so one thing i don't like i think it'd be cool if you could pick the year you want to start in and go from there but maybe there is a way to do that and i just don't know it yet uh we are playing the jazz in round one who have john stockton carl malone Lou Maggetti. I don't think this... I wonder if the AFC things are still a thing in 2K. You guys know 2K22 was bad. I would get upset by AFCs all the time. This is 2K23. We are in the 2004, 2002 era, whatever you want to call it. Do AFCs upset still occur? So many current round and not this time at least. We do beat the Jazz in force. We take care of them. Now we get the Mavericks who have Steve Nash, Nick Van Ness, Exel, Michael Finley, Dirk Nowitzki, Sean Bradley. They beat us last year, so hoping we can return the favor this year. They're up 2-0. to zero. Not a great start, and it looks like we might end up losing here in the second round to the Mavericks. So, I guess we got more work to do. The Miami Heat go on to win the championship. They beat the Grizzlies, and now we are on to another historic offseason. So, uh, let's go look at player retirements again. We got uh, Steve Kerr retiring, Carl Malone retiring, John Stockton. Uh, Dirk Nowitzki is probably not retiring anytime soon, but I guess they lost a couple pieces. I don't know if that really changes anything, but going to the historic changes again. Bobcats add his expansion team, team branding. So is there an expansion draft you have to go through or do they already just kind of have the roster? I'm actually curious about that. The Lakers, no changes. So, okay, draft lottery time. I don't think there's any expansion draft I have to worry about. For the lottery, we might not have our pick this year. We traded to the Raptors in that one trade. The Kings have their number one overall pick. Okay. And that would be this draft, the 2004 draft. Is this the Chris Paul draft? Is that what this is? I got to take a look real quick. That is Dwight Howard. Okay. Maybe it's not Chris Paul. Wait, Chris Paul is... Am I bugging right now? Huh. I guess I am. I guess Chris Paul's not in this draft. Maybe it's 2005. I don't remember. Oh, let's go to draft night, though. Let's go see if there's anything we can do as far as maybe making another trade. I love my big three and Jamal Crawford, Kobe, and Shaq. He is a free agent. Jared Wallace, I do like as well, 21 years old. I guess I can take a look at maybe trading these two and seeing if anything good pops up for me. JR, we got Tony Delk, uh, Michael. We can get Theo Ratcliffe uh, as a center. I mean, do I go Doug Christie at 34 years old? 
Um, Theo Radcliffe, not sure how much he's going to go down in overall, which is why I'm a little hesitant. Or you got Brent Barry. Okay. I feel like just getting a better... I'm going to go with Theo Ratcliffe. And I might play him next to Shaq. He averaged six and seven. Don't know what to expect. But I'm just going to make the trade to be a better overall. And let's go straight to player options. And uh, kind of see what our free agents are looking like. So we got some free agents to worry about. Qualifying offers. Nicolo Johnson is a free agent. Were bird rights a thing back then? I don't know. I'm not sure if it's going to let me. Okay, so Jamal Crawford doesn't want too much money. How many... Uh, can I, I can sign Jamal Crawford. Okay, so I'm going to sign... Probably Jamal Crawford and Will and Gerald Wallace back. I definitely want Jamal Crawford and I definitely want uh, Gerald Wallace back. Those are two guys I'm definitely looking to have back on the team. Uh, as far as Antonio McDice, I mean, yeah, we should probably resign McDice. We should probably resign Derek Fisher and we can uh, trade them if we need to. So going to sign all three of them and then we can sign Derek Fisher. Then we can sign Michael Bradley and use them in trades if we need to. So bringing back the roster and then we're going to use the trades again. So that is what we got going on so far. And then we got... Trent Hassel, I'm going to give a contract to here and get him as maybe my backup shooting guard. And he signs. There we go. And then is there anything else? No, not really. So you got Robert Horry out here again. Gary Trent's out here at 29. But I don't think I see anything I like. So let's go straight to make some more trades. So I like Jamal Crawford. I like Theo Ratcliffe. I might play Ratcliffe at power four next to Shaq. Is that crazy to do? I don't know. 6'10. He does go down. What if I move Shaq to power forward? He goes down as well. Okay. I'll have. I'll, uh, dude, this is so weird. They changed some of the buttons, but I'm going to have Theo place backup center for now. Jamal Crawford and Jared Wallace are safe. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we get for some of these other guys potentially. So I actually like the addition of Hassel. So let's go, let's go Bradley and Derek Fisher, and maybe we throw a draft pick in as well. Uh, let's go ahead and throw a draft pick on that one as well. Let's see if we can get like a really good offer for these, for these three assets here. So we got JR, we got Ethan, Ed and Thomas, I should say, Sean Bradley at 32 years old. Not really doing it for me. You got Will Person, Wesley Person at 78 overall. I feel like you yeah, having the highest overall. Is that Joe Johnson? Ooh, Joe Johnson at 26 years old. Earl Boykins as well. I feel like I want to do that. OG. I want to do that Joe Johnson trade. I don't know if he's going to progress too much. I hope I actually hoping he does. So I'm going to do the Joe Johnson trade. Get Joe Johnson from the Phoenix Suns. He actually might be, he might be able to move him to small forward and maybe move Wallace to power forward. Is that crazy to do? Let's see. Wallace would go down and then. Would Joe Johnson go up at small forward? He does go up. So I'm actually going to confirm that. Joe Johnson going to be the small forward. And then Gerald Wallace, I mean, we could either trade him or we can have him play some power forward. So Joe Johnson went up to a 78 overall, which is a W. Does Gerald Wallace give me anything? We can get Kurt Thomas at 31. Um, Not liking any of these. So I, 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 ooh, Brent. No, Brent Barry. No, thanks. Okay. I'm going to keep the young Gerald Wallace. I'm going to probably try to play him at power forward if possible. So... You got Jamal Crawford still, Kobe Bryant. I love the addition of Trenton Hassel off the bench. You got Joe Johnson, Gerald Wallace, and you got Casey Jacobson, whoever that is, and then McDice and then Theo. So I think I want to trade Casey uh, and McDice for something, and then I think that'll be it. So hopefully this leads to, so it was McJoe. There we go, these two. So here we go. Can we get something good? Speedy Claxton, 26-year-old. Okay, I kind of like that one. You also have Tr Jerome or Strama, Strama. Dude, these names are crazy. I don't know how to say some of these. Eddie House. Okay. Recognize that, obviously. I'm liking some of these trades. I like that power forward offer that we had, though. Christian Leitner as well. But I think I'm going to go ahead and do the Swift trade. 24-year-old power forward. Bring him over to the Lakers and just increase our overall even more. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, we definitely need one more player, I would say. Or you can run an IM rotation either way. I'm going to throw a lamb and a first round pick together and see if that gives me just something good. And then this will be kind of my hope that this team can go win a championship this next year. We got Melvin. Uh, we got we can get Jacobson back, I guess. Jerron Collins. Uh, Vladimir at 20 years old. Might just go for him. Edmund Brown. So definitely some decent offers. Was that Smo Wait, yeah, Smush Parker. Let's bring Smush Parker to the Lakers. Didn't he play for the Lakers? So Smush Parker, 23-year-old backup point guard. Okay. I'm good. Let's go to player progression and let's see how good this team's about to be. So this is probably gonna be the last offseason I do, uh, but we definitely have some progression here, which is great to see. Theo Ratcliffe did not go down. Shaquille O'Neal did regress a little bit, uh, which sucks, but I'm cool with this roster. I think we're ready to maybe go win a championship in year number three. Uh, we got the first seed last year. We got upset, of course, by the Mavericks. We've lost to them twice now, but this time I'm planning on not losing to them, and this is gonna be our rotation. So it's Jamal Crawford, Kobe Bryant, 
You got Joe Johnson, Swift, Shaquille O'Neal, Theo Ratliff off the bench. I want to say Ratcliffe, but it's Ratliff. Gerald Wallace, Trent Hassel, and Smush Parker. Nine in rotation is a brand new head coach. I guess we lost uh, uh, Phil Jackson, which is unfortunate. As far as uh, proficiency, proficiency, we're going to go to a balanced system. Uh, sucks to not have Phil Jackson anymore. Is there better candidates out here? Probably not. So I guess we stick with Daryl Hudgens or whatever his name is. Does that say Hudgens? Yes, Daryl Hudgens. All right. Simulating season number three. Let's go see him win a championship with the Lakers. So Tracy McGray this year wins MVP. Dwight Howard, Rookie of the Year on the Wizards. You got Sean Livingston, Sixth Man of the Year on the Raptors. Ben Wallace, Defensive Player again. Dwayne Wade, Most Approved in Seattle. Very interesting. George Carl, Coach of the Year. He is coaching the Milwaukee Bucks. And then Stan Myers, Executive for the Spurs. Okay. All NBA first team got Trace McGrady, Dwayne Wade, KG, LeBron James, and Shaquille O'Neal. All NBA second team got Kobe Bryant, Allen Iverson, Dirk Nowitzki, Sean Marion, and Kurt Thomas. I didn't I have a chance to get Kurt Thomas on this team. That's crazy. He was on an All NBA team. I could have got him. Uh, Tony Parker, Jason Kidd, Tim Duncan, Bosch, and Pau Gasol. All defensive first team and all defensive second team. So here we go. Once again, we actually this year are the second seed. I believe we won 60 games, if I'm not mistaken, but I could be totally wrong. If we take a real quick look. We went 61-21 behind the Spurs. So I don't know. Maybe the Spurs have our number here. As far as stats are concerned, yeah, 27 from Kobe, 25 from uh, Shaquille Neal, 17 from Jamal Crawford, 9.5, and, and then Swift had 11.5 next to Shaq. So feeling pretty good. I am hoping to at least get to the Western Conference Finals. We get to play our LA uh, superior, or not superior, I would say, um, you know, whatever the other term is. Corey McGetting, Baron Davis. Hopefully, we do not lose in round one. I do not want to lose in round one. So, we do go up 1-0, to 2-0. Zero, to zero, beat them in four, hopefully. We do take care of the Clippers. And now, we get the Denver Nuggets who upset the Suns in round one. So, we have to deal with Jameer Nelson, Nelson Rip Hamilton, Chris Bosh, a young Chris Bosh. So, hopefully, we don't lose to a young Chris Bosh. But other than that, I'm not really intimidated by this roster. I'm liking what I'm looking like a little bit better. So, game one, up 1-0. to zero, Good start so far. 2-0. to zero. Three to zero, and can we sweep the Nuggets? Beat them in five, please. Let's go. We're in the Western Conference Finals. We have to deal with the Spurs, though. So not really sure what to expect here. They have a Jermaine O'Neal, Bruce Bowen, Stephen Jackson, Tony Parker, Tim Duncan. Man, this is not going to be easy. That is a tough starting five. But record-wise, we are kind of all the same. I'm going to go A-man rotation and hope this helps my case. I don't know if it will. Can we beat the Spurs? Game one, we're down one to zero. Not a great start. Game two, we even it up though. Okay, game three, they're up two to one. Let's go to SimCast on this one. Um, please note that early. Yeah, we're going to always simulate that. Okay, game four in LA, we have to do everything possible to not go down three to one. We cannot go down three to one to the San Antonio Spurs roster. It's looking good so far, but they could easily take it. It's a close game. Very close game. Hang on to the lead, please. Oh my goodness, this is too close. I don't like this. We lose three to one. Oh man, we're gonna lose to the Spurs roster, aren't we? That is so unfortunate. I can't even win a championship with the Kobe and Shaq Lakers. That's how poverty I am, I guess. But man, didn't they not? They didn't win it these few years, did they? I feel like they didn't win. The Lakers didn't win again until what was it? 2000? I don't even remember. And we're gonna lose this one as well. Uh, we got two seconds left on the clock, and we lose. Uh, the Spurs go on to win. So. You know what, boys? Honestly, we didn't end our first. Our first 2K video did not end up in the Hornets went and upset uh, the Spurs, by the way, which is interesting. But we didn't get a championship in our first video uh, doing a my NBA my NBA era throwback rebuild. But to be honest with you, I was a little overwhelmed. But this was a really cool experience. So I am more than uncomfortable with in, or more than comfortable ending it there. I think this was fun. And I definitely need you guys' feedback going forward and what kind of rebuilds you want to see going forward. I definitely still want to do like regular rebuilds, but I know for sure I wanted to start in the my NBA eras and kind of see what this was all about. And honestly, I can say for the most part, it looked like a W, but maybe we find some bugs and other stuff as we keep going. But I really loved this. I thought this was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know guys overall thoughts on what you think about this my era stuff. And if you're going to be playing it, this is Crushables. I'll be back tomorrow. I'm saying peace thank you guys so much for watching make sure you click here to watch another video that i know you'll love